This week, it was revealed that Kate Middleton will have an extended hospital stay, while her father-in-law, King Charles, will undergo a prostate surgery requiring anesthesia. Limited information has been disclosed about the procedure, except that his condition is benign to alleviate concerns. Similarly, Kate Middleton's aides have adopted the approach of assuring the public that her condition is non-cancerous. Historically, the palace has been inclined to disclose minimal details regarding the health of senior royals, citing privacy concerns as the primary reason for their discretion. But one question has arisen, who will be in charge while the king is under anesthesia and unable to make decisions? Every country has established protocols for situations where the leader, such as a king, is unable to fulfill their duties. The Times has reported that in the United Kingdom, individuals like Prince Andrew, Prince Harry, and Princess Beatrice will not be called upon. In England, the king must issue letters patent to authorize councillors of state to act on his behalf, with a requirement for two councillors to act jointly. The Councillors of State Act of 2022, implemented by King Charles, specifies the eligible individuals who can act on his behalf if needed. The Act confirms that only acting members of the royal family can be considered. Typically, the King's consort and the next four adult heirs to the throne over the age of 21 would fulfill this role. These individuals include Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Royal Anne, and Prince Edward. Additionally, Dr. Craig Prescott, a constitutional law lecturer at Royal Holloway, suggests that having a backup plan is advisable. If King Charles requires anesthesia, King Charles will no doubt enact his letters patent, in case something urgent should happen while he is indisposed. King Charles, according to the New York Times, decided to disclose his medical procedure because he hoped it would encourage men who may be experiencing similar symptoms to get checked. Following the king's openness about his medical condition, there has been a significant increase in visits to the National Health Service's prostate enlargement page. Dr. Amin Harati from Johns Hopkins Hospital suggests that early proactive treatment may help preserve bladder and kidney function, encouraging men to prioritize prostate checkups. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.